M.A. Roscoe introduces us to the three fiber artists who have now sewn up their spot in the exhibit. It is officially the summer of Stitch, Stitch, Stitch at the Textile Center, celebrating the most elemental and basic part of textile design. I am joined by Tracy Crum. And over the summer, you've got three very accomplished textile artists displayed here. We're going to start with this gentleman. Who is this? This is Tom Lundberg. He's from Fort Collins, Colorado. And he has been uh, a practicing artist for over 40 years, I would say. And his um, work has always involved stitching, hand stitching, very labor intensive hand stitching on a small scale. Such a small scale that some of the fabric he uses is actually scrap material. It is scrap material. Um, some of it's hand woven, some of it's recycled from garments, things such as pockets, cuffs, collars, those types of things that are intimate and personal and, and give him a canvas for the stitching that he's doing. While Tom Lundberg was dealing with imagery, mostly the artist whose work we're looking at now, Susan Brandeis, she, Tracy, is dealing with language. She is. She's thinking a lot about communication and about miscommunication, about lost language, about language um, from all over the world, pictographs, runes, um, stone carvings, uh, old antique uh, texts, um, those sorts of things. Looking at this piece, I was getting surface of the moon, and it turns out I'm not that far off. You're not. It's really um, an image of nature it's shot in the desert, and it's digitally printed on the fabric, and then the hand stitching happens on top of the digital image to bring out some of the text. Because it's the summer of stitch, stitch, stitch. Right. Gotta have stitching. And this is the third artist, Susan Moss. Her work will be hung by the time y'all come here and visit the Textile Center. But Tracy, her work is stitching as drawing. Yes, yeah, Susan has a background in drawing and painting, and she is a very avid sketcher, and she has figured out a way to transfer her sketches and her drawings to fabric through the process of stitching. So what would look like a drawn or a painted line is actually rendered in thread on fabric. Well, if all of this inspires you, when we come back, we're going to tell you about some of the summer classes you can take here at the Textile Center. That's when we come back. <laughs> 